Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Senor Mokolover, and let's continue playing as the great, but disunited, Austro-Hungarian, Bohemian, Galician, Ladomeria, Illyrian nation. Empire. Yeah. So, Red Binky, and we're joined here today by my cat named Binky. It's currently on my bed. But, so I did play this a little bit ahead of time. This is exactly where we left off, though. But... I did play this a little bit to just try to make sure that I choose the right things, and I hope I choose the right things this time. And yes, I'm joined here also by a full cup of coffee. So, uh, a few things. Someone wanted me to take, potentially, a few more colonies in the world. Well, I would have liked to. But really, the Ukraine was our major goal. Now, I guess I could, could say that Krem or this area of what was the Ukraine, is our colony. For you see, even if I did take colonies between the end of the Weltkrieg in 1919 to 1937 right now, if I can't contain or stabilize a country, my own home country, there's no way in the world I can colonize and pacify the natives of anywhere else. There's just no way I can do that. So that's why I decided to just give Germany all of the rest of the territory. I mean, they had the Baltics, and they had Bay White Russia, Bayo Russia. They did liberate Finland, but they were a, or at least now, are a Russian puppet. Uh, concerning this, Russia, the Germans had to give just a little bit of territory for Beskans... Besanson? Besanson? Uh, they do have Belgium under their wing, so... All in all, I, just giving Germany more territory than me, because my country can't handle it very well. My country literally is disunited at the moment, and any overseas territories just would not have worked well, as much as I would have liked it to. It just doesn't make sense. And besides, Germany, before the Weltkrieg, had their own colonies in Africa, in the Pacific. Uh, I'm not so sure about Asia. But, I didn't. I don't know if any Hung Austro-Hungarian colonies... Before the Weltkrieg. Now, I know we had claims on different regions, including Palestine, the region of Palestine, or, you know, it was Israel and stuff. But other than that, I just don't see me being able to take territory from someone else, especially with the fragile stability in our country and the division of India and the division of China already. So, I think we're just going to leave it there. But let's continue, anyways, because right now we are in the middle of the Ausgleich of 1937. <clears throat> so, Hungary demands reparations. As anticipated, the Hungarian delegation once again demands compensation for the loss of the territories of Croatia Slavonia that were in a vassalage under the Hungarian crown until 1925 when said territories were occupied by the revolutionary southern Slavs, which ended with the cessation of the lands in 1926 to the newly formed Kingdom of Illyria. The Hungarian delegation still claims that the lands as their own, but acknowledges that the, them but having them be under Hungarian control again is impossible. Therefore, like in 1927, they demand a hefty sum of money to be transferred to the treasury. Uh, this is precisely why you pay less taxes now, you bastard. And right now, I've, I know through this area, I've called Hungar Hungarians just a bunch of bastards, so whatever. So the Czechs and Slovaks in the north of our country propose a Slovak state. They implore us to support a Slovak, to, to support the Slovak autonomy. Should they uh, consider this? Hell no, it will happen. And then Hungary abandons Ausgleich. Which hurts our political power, but that's A-okay with me. Alright. Uh, just to be sure, we do have some divisions here. Oh, the Polish proposal for Polish protectorate. Oh, good, and the divisions that sent to Romania have arrived because Romania does not want to survive. Several prominent members of the Polish delegation have endorsed a more active stance in our diplomatic relationship with Poland. While Poland was left to be in the German sphere after the war, the Galicians still see Poland as their homeland, now suppressed by Prussian rule. They wish for us to liberate their co-patriots. Poland is not yet lost. Well considered. So, we have divisions down here. we got to make sure that the Kingdom of Romania does not fall to these dastardly national populists or whatever else they want to call themselves. Uh, you got holes in your line, guys. This ain't good. We go down here, Carl Egelseer, a great guy. We are out of manpower, but that's okay. We didn't need any manpower, right? If we go to war, we can call all of our puppets manpower in. Maybe except for this Kingdom of Hungry crap. So, 
Ruthenians demand Transcarpathia. The Ruthenian delegation reminds us, well, and the Ruthenians are, is Galicia Lodomeria, that their brothers across the Carpathians are not even recognized by the Hungarian government. And now they get a core on Ungvar. Very good. Very, very good. Alright, so now our one division is getting attacked. And the Illyrians demand the Basca Basin. The Illyrian delegation asked to be granted the Basca Basin, which is mostly inhabited by Serbs. Or so it was reported to be the last time we checked. And that is... That's Vajdasag. I don't know how to pronounce any of this crap. Uh, where is that? Baskasat? Uh, Beograd. No, they're not part of the Empire. Not, not at the current moment, at least. Uh, there's Bansag, but that's a basin. Basca base. This is probably a small territory. Well, uh, include all of the Basca. Yeah. Oh, so they'll get a core on Vajdasag. Vajdasag. Yeah, I'm totally pronouncing that right. All right, Vajdasag and the Pru Bolivian Confederation restored. Uh, they were regional enemies, now torn asunder by victorious Chile after the Battle of Yungay in 1839. Huh. That's pretty. That's pretty large. Not gonna lie. Under Oscar Benavides Larea. All right. Still not impressive though in terms of power. But you know, I'm Austria-Hungary. Whatever. Or Austria. So Romanians and autonomous. Transylvania? While Transylvania held some recognition by Hungary, it is, no by no, it is by no means near the level of cis Lithuanian states of joy. The Romanian delegation puts a word in for being put on the same level as the states of the Austrian half. So that includes this area where my cursor is, next to Romania, but of course we don't want to give that territory to Romania. And it shall include all of Transylvania. Also, that just reminded me, there is an RNG part to this, so if I don't get hungry declaring war on us. <clears throat> I'm going to have to redo this. Not that it affects you, really, but, you know, it affects me. The Ausflash came to an end yesterday. All the de delegations went home today. Let's hope this upholds peace within the Empire. And then we get uh, success at the 7th Ausflash, which is really good for us. And really not great for Hungary, I believe. Yeah, ties restored, so we get that daily political power and better daily autonomy progress game for that. Good! So, so far, <clears throat> we can do status quo, but we need something RNG to fire, and that concerns the Hungarians. Please, Hungary, please say no. And Japan announces their ambitions. That happens in every game, of course. Oh, the Russians are here. Don't want to attack there. The Germans are here, too. Oh, and Slovak and Romanian demonstrations put down in Hungary. Hopefully this RNG will work for us. At the start of the week, peaceful dem... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, I am sorry. Peaceful demonstrations for support of, for Vienna in several Slovak and Transylvanian cities ended with the Hungarian police violently dispersing the crowd. However, this has only played into the narrative the resistance is pushing, and now Slovak and Romanian leaders are asking for a government to mediate the dispute. Agreed. Hungary is to move its forces from the disputed territories. Come on, go to war with me or something. Make me feel good about myself. Nicaragua declared war on Honduras. That's not exactly the war we wanted, nor needed. Oh, the American Civil War is... Okay. I don't think I can support either side, can I? Yeah, no, I don't really care about them. I don't care about those filthy Americans. Uh, let's see what happens. Alright. Oh, here we go! This is the RNG we're looking for. Hungry refuses our ultimate. Hungary declines her ultimatum and refuses to leave the disputed territories. Oh well. No, no, no. You know what this means, don't you? Austrian Empire removes puppet from Kingdom of Hungary. And we are at war with our former puppet, but we got some good guys to call in. Oh, Ukraine's got the most factories, nice. Alright, so now we're at war with those dastardly, bastardly Hungarians. You're gonna go ahead. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be a civil war here, because of the social conservatives. So with that in mind, I'm going to add two more divisions from here. I'm going to already add them into this army, because we got to make sure that we can actually at least beat Hungary, which isn't too hard if you're not fighting a two-front war against Italy as well as the uh, Hungarians. Let's see, this is fighters. So let's yeah, make sure we got the fighters in the air. Naval bombers probably aren't going to work super well against Hungary, just as a thought. Probably not going to work super well. 
Uh, hope my guys are moving in. Because if we don't, it's a waste of time and territory. So our goal, let's see. Let's take a look. Basically, Austria-Hungary is in a war right now. And we've all surrounded Hungary pretty much. And we're going to kick its face in, hopefully. So they got up to 33 divisions. That's quite a few. So get international. They have a lot of manpower compared to me. But they have a lot more territory that Hungary has to take than I have to take up Hungary's. Uh, I think one of you can come this way. Let's, like, go, like, in. Go in. Come on. Good. Just take the territory as best you can. Awesome. Please do not capitulate anybody. That would be not good for anyone. Oh, good. I can circle that Hungarian. Oh, good. You uncircle that Hungarian division, Bohemia. Good job. Good, good job. Alright. We got 30, 15 divisions out of 30. Obviously, I'm going to switch things up here once we get through this war. Uh, let's see. Actually, probably need to extend that. Uh, let's see. You come down here to here to here to here to here. If you can do that, that would cut off a few more Hungarian divisions. Now, Galicia Lodomiria might capitulate. But it did the last time I did play this. But we'll have to see what happens. Right, Binky? That's right. Uh, yeah, better production efficiency cap. What are we missing? Guns. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much expected here. And, oh good, we got those two extra divisions, which I'm just going to throw immediately into here. How's the Kingdom of Romania? They're not doing super well. Alright. Yeah, whatever. I tried to help out, but then didn't exactly work out that way. Uh, yeah. More guns, please. More guns. If I lower this to 30 a day, can we get to 21 a day? That's not bad. Because I still want to produce some other stuff. Uh, please. Good. Not too bad so far. Yeah. Uh, we didn't exactly split them off yet. Push these guys out. No, no, we got a division encircled. And now he's not encircled, that's good. You will come this way to kill that division off. Carlos Spain declared war on the Kingdom of Spain. Spanish Civil War? Oh my gosh. Is it only a two, two front, two sides? Usually there's a third guy that likes to play a role in that Civil War, but you know what? I, you know, I guess I don't know my Spanish politics and uh, ideas that well. Come on. Oh, what we need. Um, we get tuned economy, which is really pretty nice. So I could go for economic rehabilitation, which I'm going to do. From, oh, so many days. Create a faction of Donau Adriabund. This could give more political power, but I want that research slot. I have to have that research slot. Prince in Bulgaria, put in Greece. Yeah, let's do this one. I want that research slot because we're already a little bit behind, I feel like, but it's only 1937, so... Maybe I'm just thinking things. I'm probably just thinking things. Do a quick look. What are the casualties like? How do we get more manpower back? These are questions I ask myself every day. 4,000 losses compared to the Galician Lodomirians, which is going to capitulate for right now. Uh, so we they gave their stockpile of 13 guns to us. The Hungarians have lost half a thousand, 50, 53,000 men already. Nice. Good job, guys. You guys are fighting hard against this one unit. Isn't going super well. Uh, yeah, there's an airbase right here we can use. Hmm. Hmm. Up them out. Crest those enemy rebels. Uh, the Hungarians are trying to advance to the Ukraine, which won't work very well for them. Some of you guys are tired. We are trying to attack over a river, which isn't good. Oh, and there goes the CNTFAI. There we go. That's a little better. And now it's officially called the Spanish Civil War, as I uh, maybe sip a little bit of that there coffee coffee. <sighs> pretty fresh. Pretty, pretty fresh. Alright. Good, we've conquered Budapest and we have the Mozambique Bush War. Um, okay, Deutsche Middle Africa, I declare war on Portugal, good luck. This is why I didn't want any colonies, because we literally are in a semi-civil war at the moment. And there's no way we could have... Con had colonies when while you're in the middle of a semi-civil war. But, you know, that's just my opinion. I'm sure someone could do that very well, but I am not that person. Ah, uh, you might as well help attack. Push them out, grind them down. That's the Austrian way. Even though we don't, we don't have that many soldiers. And the Mongolian Khanate declared war on Tibet. Alright. They were allies at one point, taking out Maklik, but I guess no longer. Still winning on the front, and we're still getting more, more and more army XP, which is very delightful. 
How close are they to capitulation? They are. Uh, all right. Well, socialist um, Dursa has been defeated. Hungary is 74% towards capitulation, and Argentina declared war on the Patagonian workers front. Gee, Central and South America are always in a state of war. Why can't they just settle their differences like we are right now through war? Yeah, whatever. <sighs> Alright, 83, 84. You know what? Give them a little extra boost. They could use a little bit more boost. Oh, and actually, you could help them out as well. Open up another portion of the front. We've lost 12,000 men. That's a lot of guys. Not as much as 75,000 by the Hungarians. This is why you should not have said no. But I'm glad you said no. Because I would not be able to do what I can do if you didn't say no. And Burgos is gone. Oh, Carlos, Spain, that's a little difficult for you to win. You're still attacking. Give these a little more of a boost, perhaps. Perhaps. Come on, guys. You've got this. Uh, you, you, of all things, can move over here. Get over a river so we don't have to fight for that territory when we move over the river. Come on. Good. That prompt you got you to move south. Um, okay. Looks like some of their soldiers don't have enough equipment. Let's see, for me... Yeah, we don't have a slightly worse stockpile of infantry equipment at the moment. It's not bad. Hmm. Oh, it looks like you were trying to do something here. Oh, we have two divisions here, so you know what? Well, why don't we just have a little bit of a good time with them? And try to cut some of these guys off. Nice. You get back up here if you can. Because we can get to the Illyrians down here. That's good. Okay, so we've linked up. These guys are encircled. That's very good right now. Awesome. And you're going to... Oh, there's two divisions there. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Bella Miklos. Wait, was that, the, was, that, was that our admiral last time? It, what? 20 years ago? Were you an admiral, Bella? I can't remember. I can't remember. Are you, are you the same guy or are you down here? Oh, no, 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 no. They just had the same name almost. So, okay. You were close to being a bastard, Admiral Miklos Horthy, but you're okay. You are totally okay. That was my fault. I jumped to conclusions too quickly about what you were wearing. I'm going to call you a racist. Just kidding. All right, so. Oh, they look like they weren't the door. All right. Uh, yeah, you might as well help them out, and they're dead. Oh, this battle's that's going to spell some major doom for Hungary. Ah, oh, 127,000 men lost. All right, good. Oh, did the did they make another encirclement down here? Good job, Illyrians. See, this is why I kept Illyria, Confederation of Slavs down here. Ooh, economic rehabilitation plan? Yes, please. Uh, how close is uh, Ro the Romanians are actually winning the civil war? Looks like the king of Romania is eh, not really winning, but they're they're regaining territory. For now, though, Skoda's good to do have. I definitely want the research slot. Uh, oh, we're we are in a war. Early mobilization. That could become very, very much in handy. Military and factory construction speed. Ooh. Oh, but I need more manpower. Well, hold on. Hungry, what's your manpower like? Not that much. They have a few divisions, and obviously they're running out of equipment. I'd say we can do this without manpower. Let's get some better mobilization in. What are we even making? Military factory. Sounds good to me. Uh, you can actually probably help out. Give them a little strength. I don't mind spending a little bit of manpower now. Oh, okay, I'm not supposed to join the Third International. But I don't mind spending manpower now if I can unite the entire country later on. So that's totally fine with me. Uh, Send the close revolutionaries in Switzerland. That's not good. If I can encircle these two divisions, that would be great. Come on. Portugal and Deutsche Mill Africa has ended their hostilities with what? Hey! Portugal lost Zambezia. Oh, and they lost something else. Looks like they lost something here. Congo Atingo? Hmm. They lost something here. This wasn't as big as before. I don't know. Doesn't concern us. That's why we don't have colonies. Yeah, those guys will die. You guys died. We made an encirclement. Oh, my lord. Praise be to the lord. Can I put this on the Hoi 4 Reddit? No, I put this on the Kaiserreich Hoi 4 Reddit. That's where I can put it. They love encirclements. They do have a land port there, though. Uh, yeah. They can't really do very much advancement into Ukraine. But Ukraine is trying to advance into former Galicia Lodomeria, so whatever. 
right. We're definitely getting a lot of good army XP, which is what we really couldn't can use. Uh, you might as well help out, both of you. Uh, you move up to the airbase. Slow, slow crawl into Hungary, but they're they're soon to be capitulated. They're very soon. We're getting bushwhack down here. Gross Betschkerak. All right. Two divisions. That's quite a few. Ooh. What can I do with you? Alfred Yansa, you've been wounded. How dare you get wounded? I did not give you permission to be wounded. Nice. Now you're helping attack. Okay. Now you're helping attack as well. Yeah, we've got this under the bag. I mean, the Hungarians are just... They don't realize that. They almost have the same level of manpower as I do. Yeah, boy. Go ahead and take this cavalry division out. Actually, let's go ahead and encircle them. That'd make it so much easier. Ah, there we go. Saudi Arabia joined the Cairo Pact. Yeah, this is taking a lot longer than I tried yesterday. So, all right, there you go. Cool! More Hungarian divisions destroyed, and the Kingdom of Romania is coming back. Jesus. Um, uh, I want you down here. Uh, something tells me something, something encirclement. Maybe? Just maybe. Oh, and the Ukrainians are beating the Hungarians back, it looks like. We have Krakow back for the Galician Ludomerians. Ah, nothing like a good encirclement to brighten your day, doesn't it? Let's see. Uh, we'll do a radar station, why not? Um, so I'm still doing land doctrines, support companies, eh. Only 1937. Ships are... Let's see, we, we need better destroyers, so we'll do that. And battleships. Fast battleships. But I want dreadnoughts. I want these the big boys. I love the big boys. There we go. Alright. Good. Good job, guys. It looks like we want to make an encirclement here, but it doesn't look like it's really going to happen. That's unfortunate. That's okay, though. 42,000 losses compared to a quarter million. Yeah, the King of Romania is definitely coming, making a comeback. That's really good. Uh, you don't need to go down there. You come over here. Y'all come over here. Y'all go straight over there. Right. Piece by piece, we shall have the Hungarians kneeling for peace. Hmm. They want to go that way? Alright, well, then we'll go this way. The Brescian. Uh, you could probably help attack this way. Alright, we're doing very well. Very, very well. 93, 94, 95, 96. Good, good, good. You can just go here, and then you, Edelweiss Division, Tibet was annexed, will come to here. Thus, almost linking us up to the Ukrainian. But what the hell, guys? Why are you abandoning this? Are you getting attacked or something? No, what? You just abandoned the front! Oh my god, this is why I don't trust you that much. That's okay, that's why I'm gonna annex your relatives in Galicia Ludomeria eventually. Nice, another uh, thingy I'm above here. Now let's do Protector of the Balkans. Hopefully the Civil War lasts for a little longer, but it probably won't. Um, what are we gonna do? Hmm. Airplanes. Probably tactical bombers. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Actually, you could just come over here. Good. That looks like they left the front for the most part. We'll take that territory. We'll go there, 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 there. All right. It looks like they're pretty much done trying to do whatever they wanted. All their divisions are probably eliminated at this point, except on the Ukrainian front and a few on our front. They have up to 22, which is not a ton, but it doesn't even matter. We're just going to take all the states, because we are the bestest. Uh, good. I'm trying to make a couple things here. Yeah, let's make some more military factories, but civilian factories first. That was good. That was very, very good. Ah, Austrian Empire. I love it. And I'm going to get an event here saying what? Nothing. Good. I couldn't use my factory. Dang it. Declaration of the Slovak State. Slovakia is finally liberated from Hungarian hands, but is still unstable. 
While liberating the territory right away would be greatly respected, military advisors tell us that waiting before doing so might be a wise idea. We are liberators. The state of Slovakia shall be declared. And they are a welcome constituent of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The former Austro-Hungarian Empire. A constituent and Galicia Lodomeria got a little bit more territory that they had a claim over. Anything to help weaken the Hungarians is good to us. The meaning of any declared war in Nepal, uh, a little unexpected, I suppose, but whatever. I can deal with that. 20 divisions out of 30. Yeah, put it around those Serbs, those god darn Serbs. Now we have a lot of XP, that's good. Hmm. We have a little bit of artillery, but we need more guns. What if I did something stupid? By stupid, I mean good. My team will need less manpower, but we'll need less equipment. We'll need more artillery. What if we did that? Oh, we got some manpower back. Oh, and Carlist Uprising. Spain has collapsed into anarchy, and the Pope has declared that all good Catholics should support the Carlist cause. We should send aid at once. Uh, so remain silent or publicly support the Carlists. Yes, Pinky, do you have an opinion? No, we just made some noises. Uh, sure, we'll send some support, I suppose. Ooh, more infantry. You are a 19 with division. Fine. Can I send you boys? Two divisions. Two whole some divisions. I can send the cavalry. How big is this? It's not that big. Mountaineers. We do have artillery, but... Ooh, that infantry is garbage. I can send one cavalry unit, which is only 14 with... They have a tank. Uh, I need to redo my cavalry division. I'll take you out. And I'll take one division from you. Come here. You'll be led by... Uh, armor, panzer leader, out of supply. We'll probably need out of supply guy. Lothar Lendulik. Wow, this would be good. Uh, we'll give you panzer leader regardless. All right. You can send some volunteers to them, because I'm not sending any to Romania, because something something tells me they're almost done with their civil war. Let's see. Motorized. I'll keep all this stuff. The cavalry needs to be adjusted. We don't need tanks in it. We could use, though, more cavalry. And we have enough XP that I feel okay by doing this. Um, it's only one division. Let's make it 40 width, because I know we're going to fight a lot of different enemies over there. We're gonna need a lot of guns for this guy. They're gonna show up and be only like less than half strength. <laughs> ah. Alright, so this is the division we're trying to train now. Yeah, I might as well put some engineers on them. Shoots division. We're gonna remove you and we're gonna add a engineer and an artillery. And yeah, these guys need to be reworked as well. Infantry. Artillery, artillery, not near, make you 20 width, give you a little bit of recon, give you a little bit of, not that, because we're out of XP, god dang it. Alright, well then. Well, we used up all the XP that we just gained. Isn't that great? Hmm. <clears throat> no, they're in all the coffee. <coughs> Declaration of the Transylvanian State. Transylvania is finally liberated from Hungarian hands, but still unstable. While liberating the territory right away might be greatly respected, military advisors tell us that waiting before doing so might be a wise idea. We are liberators. Oh, that's actually really, really nice. Look at that. Austrian Hungarian Empire. The Austrian Empire looks kind of disgusting, but this looks. I, I, sorry, my favorite color is blue, so it just looks really nice. And we didn't lose that many factories, which is really good. Oh, mobile defense. We could have used you earlier. Oh, right then. Integrated support? Yes, please. <coughs> and actually, can I send planes down to... You? Oh, I can't... I can't send 31. Follow Madrid. Oh, follow Madrid. Uh, how many... I don't have that many. I don't have any planes in backup. Uh oh Um, minus 50. Alright, so y'all come down here, and you're gonna do that. And I'll probably have an event that lets me release... Hungry. We want to be protectors of the Balkans. We want to embrace, embrace pluralism. And here we go. Now we can uh, send some help to our boys, Catholic brethren down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Does anyone want an upgrade? I don't want to use these guys because even though they are somewhat skilled, 
they don't learn very well. And a lot of their skills can be replaced later on. Uh, Carl Egelsir, why not? Yeah, you might as well become a field marshal, you're pretty good overall. Um, yeah, we'll give him defensive doctrine, because why not? Oh, right. You're up north, and the Calvary Division looks extremely weak. Now, where would be a good place to put our boys? The Russians down here are going to get destroyed anyways. Over here might be good. Alright, let's do that. How is the situation in the air? Really bad! Oh my gosh, we're going to lose the planes like crazy. That's not good. Alright. So I want to attack this division, but I kind of want to wait before we do anything too rash with our cavalry. They are very, very weak. Actually, I'm making light tanks for no real reason. Actually, not really, because we're out of factories down here. That's okay with me. Oh, I was making a circlement. Well, that may or may not happen. Uh, yeah, you're kind of going the long way around, but that's okay. You know, just send, send you that way. Ah, uh, shit. Good, you made an encirclement. Get rid of those god dang CNT FAI members. Good. Stabbed in the back. No! They they were able to God, get out of the goddamn it. I need more divisions in Spain. But that's all the time we have for today, guys. I hope you enjoy this episode. We have taken out the Hungarians. We've lost all our manpower. But we are much more unified now with Austria being the sole constituent, the primary constituent of the former Austro-Hungarian Empire. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you tomorrow with all of your all of your suggestions suggested in red. Thank you very much for watching.